another fall inspired video. Today I am bringing you four easy, cheap fall decor DIYs. I knew I wanted to decorate our master bedroom with some fall decor, but I didn't want to go overboard and I wanted to keep it really cheap. If you've seen my other fall decor videos, I like to keep more of a neutral palette, neutral fall decor for our home. It's not that I don't love traditional fall colors, I do love that, but for our house I like to stick with neutral colors. So that's what I'll be showing you today. If you would like to see how I put all these DIYs together, then please continue to watch. So to start with, I really wanted a fall floral arrangement for our table and our master bedroom. Pre-made arrangements can be so pricey, so I decided to just remove the summer flowers from the space and replace them with fall picks. If you already have a floral arrangement, this is a really good, cheap way to change them up for the season. These picks I use are from Walmart and they were only 89 cents. I used three of them. Every storm I long for peace mm -hmm. For every step I'm taking there's a sidewalk There's a road Also put a couple one dollar lambs ear picks in as well. I decided to take out these brighter green stems also. This arrangement only cost me five dollars. Next, I wanted to make a couple pumpkin stacks for our nightstands. I picked up these pumpkins from Walmart. The large ones were $6, the medium ones were $3, and the small ones were $0.90. Cents. I decided to paint the large ones a moss green, a light green for the medium ones, and white for the small ones. I started by removing all the stems besides the small ones that would go on the very top. Stars above are shining, then I know They had some very similar pumpkin stacks at Walmart, but doing it this way, I could customize the pumpkins to match my other decor items. You can add whatever greenery or stems you would like for in between the pumpkins, but I chose lamb's ear, some cotton, and later decided to add some pine cones. I used all dollar stems to do this so it stayed super cheap. I thought the height of these pumpkins were perfect for our side tables. Uh, 
The next DIY I took this metal bucket I received from a friend and decided to add this Dollar Tree window cling to it. I decided to paint the suite with my moss green paint using a tiny paintbrush. You could paint the letters to match your specific colors to make this match your decor. To attach it, you just want to add a tiny bit of water to the back of it and it'll stick right on. The nice thing about this cling is that it will come right off when the fall season is over. I decided to use this bucket to store a comfy blanket and pumpkin pillow between our chairs. Next, I decided to take this Dollar Tree garland and paint it a matte brown color. I don't know why I never thought to paint garland like I do all of my pumpkins, but this is such a cheap way to match your color scheme. I think these bright colors are pretty and would look nice for my kids' rooms, but for my bedroom, I thought the brown would look really nice. I love how my DIY garland turned out for above our bedroom sign. It pops against the white sign and looks really festive. So that is everything for my DIYs today. I hope that you guys found some inspiration and got some ideas of your own. If you decide to recreate any of these items, I would love for you to follow me on Instagram and tag me so I can see what you come up with. Definitely stick around for more decorating inspiration from me in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful and blessed day. Today.